Tonight at 6 o'clock, a data research company is now holding off on requesting a $45 million tax break for a new facility along the Beltline in Atlanta. 11 Alive's Karis Belger was at a county meeting where the company pulled its request at the last minute. Karis joins us now more with more. Quality Technology Services is behind the sprawling construction project on West Marietta Street, but elected officials and community members say they don't want their tax dollars to pay for it. Cardane, Wyckoff, Ross Gandy. 100 people submitted comments for today's Development Authority of Fulton County meeting, objecting to a requested $45 million tax break for the building of this Quality Technology Services facility near the Atlanta Beltline. What city? in Georgia or anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world wouldn't like to have a $1.3 billion investment. A QTS um, representative spoke at today's meeting. Once completed, the project is expected to be 755,000 square feet and create close to 20 jobs. But opponents, such as Atlanta City Council member Matt Westmoreland, say those benefits don't warrant the $45 million tax abatement the company is asking for. Instead, he says that money should be spent on bringing in affordable housing or supporting small businesses. And any time we're not doing one of those things, or the city of Atlanta isn't the one giving the tax break, we don't think it should be happening. Howell Neighborhood Association President Arthur Toll presented similar arguments at today's meeting, pointing out the economic toll the tax break would have on the community. 30318, which is our zip code, is the uh, seventh highest rate of unemployment in the state of Georgia. Um, and this is 40 acres that's going to employ 20 people. It's not really a, uh, much of a benefit. It was those concerns that caused QTS to pull a request for the tax break until the company and the board could hear more from the community. In a statement sent to 11 Alive, a QTS spokesperson noted the company had been in Atlanta for nearly two decades. Also that the project would generate tens of millions of dollars in revenue and hundreds of jobs. We'll have that full statement available on 11alive.com. I'm Karis Belger, 11 Alive News.